Bokashi. Bokashi has come a long way since 1982 when Dr. Teruro Higa came up with the idea of using effective microorganisms to ferment food scraps in your kitchen. Today, we're going to get Omar from up the ravine to come down and show me how he does it. Here's Omar. Step number one, Omar tells me we have to get down to the barranco, into the ravine here, and collect the greens. And then we haul them off down to the vegetable garden for the staging area, where all the action begins. Here we have our pile. I collected a bunch of uh, dead fallen leaves from the avocado trees. Beside those are some fresh clippings from the pruning that was done. And also a pile of horse manure and various other greens we got from the barranco. Here comes the fun part. Fill this bucket up with warm water. It's warm coming out of that black tube that's been sitting in the sun all day. Just fill that up there and then we get uh, a little bit of worm juice that I got out of my bathtub full of worms. That adds to the mixture. Here I have a few packets of fresh yeast that I got from the supermarket. This is packed with different bacteria and fungi and accelerates the decomposition of organic waste. You'll see many recipes calling for molasses, but if you can't get your hands on that, some unrefined brown sugar will do the trick. We used about four kilos of sugar here. This is what's going to feed all those bacteria during over the next couple weeks or so, keeping them active, doing their job. Next comes the charcoal, a great place for all those microbes to live. They have all kinds of little nooks and crannies and it prevents the microbes from getting washed away with heavy rains. So this is where we start putting the pile together. You see Omar is kind of putting that uh, liquid concoction we created earlier, laying some down, putting another layer of charcoal here, and then putting some greens on top, throwing some browns on top of that. Just basically making a nice little layer cake. So the basic idea of this aerobic bokashi pile we're making is that the end product is going to inoculate the soil in my garden with microorganisms you know, and, and build fertility. Create uh, and add it to the nutrient cycle you know, that converts organic material into bioavailable nutrients for the plants. Basically to get my plants to grow a lot better than before. So the plan is that when it's all said and done, I'm going to take three equal parts, one being the bokashi, two being my orange peel compost, and three, the worm castings that I got this year. And I'm going to mix them together, lay them out across the top of my beds and leave it for two or three months covered so they can have some time to do its thing. So ideally, you would want to do this in a shaded area, be it maybe under some trees in a forest or under a shaded area. But uh, we didn't have one readily available, so we keep it covered, keep it protected from solar radiation. And the very next day, we're up to 45 degrees Celsius. For the first three days, you should turn it twice a day because if you don't it's going to get so hot in there that it's going to start killing off the beneficial microorganisms after day three you just turn it once a day okay day three personal 
first for me. I've never had a, any kind of compost pile reach 70 degrees Celsius before. This is on day three of the Bokashi pile. Omar, ¿qué me trajiste? Teniza, café, Bokashi maduro, y suero, suero y melaza. So this is the whey and molasses mixture I'm adding here. And then followed by the ash and the coffee in the aged Bokashi. Sprinkle that on, add a little water and then pile it back up. Day four, 71 degrees Celsius. So after about a week, the temperature dropped down. So on day 10, I gave it uh, about another kilo of brown sugar in the watery mixture to give it a kick start. And it worked. Day 13. 60. Day 22, time to break out this sweet little sifter I made a few years ago. Handy dandy. So as I'm sifting the Bokashi, I take whatever doesn't go through the mesh and I put that in one pile where that will just continue to break down and I'll use that in my compost. And then whatever falls to the bottom of the wheelbarrow, I put in another pile. The sifted final product of Bokashi on the right, leftovers on the left. Thanks again to Omar for your guidance and help with this little project.